U.S. Silver and Gold's Galena Mine Complex in the Coeur d'Alene Mining District of Idaho measures approximately nine miles by two miles. Galena and its associated zones contain hundreds of potentially mineable veins that host silver, lead, and copper. The project is one of the most prolific silver mines in U.S. history and has produced more than 240 million ounces since 1953. A vast amount of exploration, including tens of thousands of drill holes, has delineated a sizable resource. With ongoing drilling, U.S. Silver and Gold believes Galena's resource will increase dramatically. The Caladay Zone alone has the potential to host a global target of 60 to 70 million tons with a potential silver resource of 150 to 200 million ounces of silver, placing it as one of the largest silver resources in North America. Today, silver, lead and copper are produced at the project's two processing plants. Access to the mining areas is achieved primarily through the Galena shaft. The ore is drilled, blasted, and transported by rail and is then hoisted to the surface for processing. Three other shafts provide efficient transportation of ore, waste rock, and additional ventilation to the mine. A key goal for U.S. Silver and Gold has been to increase mineable resources and reserves at the Galena Mine. Mineralization from new zones, identified by a review of previous drilling, is expected to increase the mine life and lower overall costs on the project. At the newly defined Caladay Zone, mineralization extends 2,800 feet and remains open at depth. The strike runs 3,600 feet in length and ranges from 200 to 400 feet thick. Over 1,100 drill holes have been completed in this zone. This drilling indicates potential global grades of 3 to 4 ounces silver per ton and 3 to 5 percent lead lending to a global tonnage target of 60 to 70 million tons and a potential silver resource of 150 to 200 million ounces. Drilling continues to intersect zones of greater than 100 feet with average grades of 8 to 10 ounces per ton silver equivalent. For example, drill holes 226 and 227 hit numerous high-grade intercepts, including 104 feet, grading an average of 10.45 ounces per ton silver equivalent. Both holes also had good mineralization near existing workings, such as 47 feet, grading an average of 7.27 ounces per ton silver. The zone is expected to support bulk mining methods, which will help in lowering overall operating costs on the project. All targeted areas in the Caladay zone contain multiple zones of higher grade mineralization, from 5 to 10 ounces per ton silver, and 5 to 11 percent lead, or a silver equivalent grade of between 8 and 17 ounces per ton. High-grade zones represent 30 to 40 percent of the total global tonnage, with continuous widths ranging between 15 and 30 feet. Between these zones are lower-grade areas, 60 to 80 feet wide. With over 800 tons per day of unused hoisting and milling capacity at Galena, U.S. Silver and Gold could begin mining here as early as Q4 2013. Drilling and further studies are ongoing in the Caladay Zone to determine optimal mining methods and to finalize a mining plan for the high-grade resource in the zone. This work is expected to add substantial mine life and further lower overall costs at the mine. During the second quarter of 2013, production grew by 19%, while cash costs were slashed by 8% over the previous year. Importantly, U.S. Silver and Gold has a plan to maintain profitability during this period of lower metal prices. The company has increased its silver equivalent cutoff grade by 50%, which will increase the grade of the mined ore, and is expected to further lower cash costs to between $15.50 and $17.50 per ounce. The current plan is expected to deliver more than 2.1 million ounces of silver in 2013, with the objective of being cash flow positive at current metal prices. Additionally, as metal prices correct, U.S. silver and gold will be positioned for record profits quarter after quarter. To find out more, visit us at us-silver.com.